Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am in my big memory planner today. I have a lot of pictures this week, so I have a plan to work with those, but let me go in and pull out my pages. I am in, I believe, yeah, it's going to be the first week of February, so January 31st through the 6th. So, like I said, I have a bunch of pictures that I need to cut out. And then I printed out these as well because I figured since I have so many, these are the mini little pocket holders from the Happy Planner. And I printed out some in different sizes so I could put them in here. So I'm going to cut out all these pictures real quick and I will be right back. So I have all my pictures cut out. And what I first want to do, I have them separated by events from the week, but the first thing I want to do is set up my little pocket folders so I can know which pictures I want to use and don't want to use since I might have double of things. So well, this one's... Okay, so I have my pocket folders filled with the pictures. Now based on these is how I'm going to do the rest of my week. So I'm going to go in and I used all the pictures from this day in this little spread, so those are just be on their own. And then I'm going to place these ones over here, and I'm going to stack them up. I like to stack my pictures so that you can flip and just add a little extra element while not taking up too much space on the spread. So we're going to do that over here with these. And then, let's see, I have this picture already. Okay, I think I like that so far. And since I'm done with that, I'm going to put these off to the side. And for stickers, um, since I have a lot of, like, greens in this spread, I thought that these would be cute from Posh Winter. I haven't used them yet, but I like the greens with the pops of pink. I think that would be really cute and it would match a lot of the pictures that I have on the spread. I also pulled Memory Planning by the Happy Planner. It's pretty old. It's from 2016. It's probably one of their first memory keeping books, but it has some good quotes like, oh, what a beautiful day, and just some little extra things to add on to the pictures. So I pulled that. And then I also have um, Mojo Jojo Plans black boxes, and then rainbow boxes, and then holiday quotes and boxes from Amber Plans for Day. That's my kitty saying hi. Okay, so with that, let's get started. I'm gonna pull my extra blank sheet of sticker paper. And I just wanna go through this book real quick and see what I can pull out so I can have that in front of me already. I'm going to pull this today, and then we can do love this and document day in the life. Let's pull wonderful weekend. Or I like this one. It says weekends are for making memories. Oh, yay, my life, and noted just to add some green in there. This box might work. I'm going to pull it just in case, and then I'll pull this perfect day too. Favorite. Okay. 
sometimes. And then this quote. That was awesome. Okay, so we have those. And then I'll have my black boxes to the side. I haven't really flipped through holiday quotes and boxes yet. Some of these boxes might work well. I just want to see what kind of quotes are in here. I know it's holiday quotes, so it might not be much, but I missed out on her black quotes. So let's just see. I like this. Sunday should come with the pause button. It's more like celebratory, and then these are all holidays. Okay, well at least I got one quote. Oh, and it just fell apart. Okay. So we got one quote from there. Now, let's figure out... Let's start with a floral. I'm going to grab this corner floral and figure out a spot for it on the page. So let's see. Let's place it right here and then we can layer a box over it. I don't know if I'm leaning more towards the pink boxes or a black box, but let's pull both out and see how we feel. I like these darker ones. Oops. I think I like the contrast of the black more, so let's do that. Do that right there, and then that's journaling for that day. Let's do a floral and a sticker right there. I don't know if I need to well, you know what, I'll put a journaling box there because that's part of one of my pocket page stickers or pictures. So let's do one of these big boxes. I honestly should have done the big box there. Hold up just a little bit, but I think that's okay. We can cover it with something. So we'll do that there and let's do this one here. And then I want to add favorite at the bottom. And then I also want to add a floral to this as well. So let's just go in here and grab a tiny floral from Posh Winter. And we can just 
put it underneath this. Okay, so now we got that done. Let's do this section. I want to add another floral on top. And then I have this weekend banner that I wanted to put down too. So let's do that up here. layer that today right there and then I'll put this Sunday should come with a pause button right here since I have some clear space on Sunday okay and then a flower up there Oops. all right let's do a little bit bigger of a cluster um, I think I want a bigger one. Okay. I like this one right here, so. Oops. Let's lay that down right here. Then we fill up some of that space. So I'm going to place these down and then I'll be done with this side of the page for now. We can see if we can add anything else when we finish the left side of the page. We got that down. Now over here, let's figure out where we're going to journal. I think I'm going to put a square right there. Go into Mojo Jojo Plans. And then we can put a full box here and here. You know, I might put like over here and then. I kind of want to do a long sidebar. Over here. And then this one right here. But then I'm going to move this over so these boxes aren't like just on top of each other. Let me see if I can pull this up. I'm not using wax paper, so they're not going to be as easy to come up. And I still haven't placed an order for undo. I'm still kind of iffy about that stuff, so <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I should. With the amount of times I've ripped my planners this year. Okay, so I didn't end up using these boxes, but I think that's fine. I'll just keep it with the black boxes, and I need to figure out washi so I can place these down. 
So I might just go in with my grid washi. It's the easiest. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to place these down first. So what you do is you just put tape on the picture you want on the bottom. that down and then you place the one on top and normally I put the tape at the top but since her head's so close to the top I'm gonna place it along the bottom Oops. and then I'm gonna take my exacto knife and just trim along the edge of the picture And that way we have double up pictures. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. And with our washi tape. Keep sticking to my fingers. Okay. Oops. All right. Go. Kind of got to place it down quickly, or else it'll attach to the picture and move it before you're able to put it down straight. So we have those pictures, pretty cute. And let's go ahead and put the rest of the pictures down so we can finish decorating. Okay, so we have all of our pictures down since I added this washi over here. I definitely want to add it in more places throughout the page so it's not just in one area. So I'm going to go ahead and just put some over here. And some up there. I'm going to place just a tiny bit down here so I can cover up where I ripped the page. And then do some up here and down here. Alright, now flowers. I have this one that I already pulled. I think it would be really cute under here. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and trim since you're able to see where you need to cut. I think that didn't cut all the way through. It's always a fine line between cutting through the sticker and then cutting through your page. Okay, I have this little corner piece that would be that I want to add somewhere, but I don't really have any corners to put it in. That works. And then I wanted to use this long piece, but I don't really think I have any space for it. And I don't really have space for this big quote either. So I might go into my big book of quotes and see if I can find another option. 
but first let me go in and just add some of these little headers and extra filler pieces. Love this, and then we'll put document up here. We have day in the life. Let's see if I want to add any to these pictures. And then we have yay, my life, noted, and Fun times. I'm place this one over here. And these ones I'm going to place on the paper just because they're clear and you won't be able to see them well on the pictures unless I put this one right here just because it's on the cloudy sky. Alright, so. Noted and my life. Okay. I'm going to go into my big book of quotes and see if I can find another black quote or a gold quote since that's what we're working with. I I went through all of my sticker books a little while ago and the ones that weren't like specifically themed like the newer ones are I pulled out the quotes so I could have them all in one spot and not have to try and remember where they all are. So I'm going to take this you can do anything you set your mind to and put it right over here because my little three-year-old was reading his first book and it was so sweet to hear. Just last year he wasn't even talking. So for him to be like reading and talking in sentences is just amazing to us because he was nonverbal just a year ago. I have this hello beautiful day, but it's not it's not what I originally wanted, but I'm gonna put it right here and then go back and try and find my big quote. You are capable of amazing things. Let's put that there and then we'll go in and put some flowers around it and then we'll put these back in our planner and be done. So, flowers. Um, we only have some big ones and then some really small ones. Let's add these small ones over here. And we'll put one at the top. I want to put it underneath it though. I'm tearing it. Ugh. Okay. I don't want to cut it because with Mojo Jojo's boxes, I've come to realize that the ink comes off fairly easily when you layer a sticker over it and then pull it off. So I was trying to avoid that. Ugh, my sticker is not cutting well. That'll do. <laughs> Put this one up. Okay, now let's add this big one right over here. And I'm going to want to cut it as well. So let's do 
you know what, I'll just let it go over into the picture and then just trim it on top. to make life a little easier. And then we have an extra piece to place elsewhere. I think I need a sharper blade. Because these aren't cutting at all. Okay, let's try one more time. There we go, okay. So we have one more. Where to add it? Let's do it at the bottom here. Okay, I just need to trim this off. And then let's grab the planner and add it in so we can see what it looks like with the pocket pages. Oops. This one's going over the hole a little bit, so I'm going to take my crop a dial and just punch that real quick. Okay. that in. Let's put this one like this. And this one like this so we can see all of the pictures. You know what? I want this one. Hmm. We'll do it like this. All right. So that's going to be my completed spread in my memory planner for February or January 31st through February 6th. I like the way it turned out. The florals from Posh Winter can't go wrong with those. And then the pops of black, I think it's perfect. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Also, check out my Instagram at Sassy Cassie Plans. I'll be posting my after the pens for these over there. So yeah, um, please like and subscribe so you can see all my future videos and I will see you on the next one. Bye.